how do you figure out how much you should be putting your rental property up for rent for? That is the question. <laughs> so, I mean, it's kind of, it's pretty simple, right? It's the same way you pretty much figured out how much you paid for that property in a way, right? You wanted to get a discount, but this time you're not given a discount, right? So you wanna look at other properties and how much they're renting for. So you can look on like Zillow and just see what the competition is up for rent at, right? And what their finishes look like. Um, a lot of people use rental meter. I've actually never used it, um, but a lot of people do. And I think it's a pretty good tool. I'm guessing all it does is pretty much compile everything from like Zillow and all the other websites and based off of bedrooms, bathrooms, and square footage, come up with that number, I think. I don't know, but it's just another tool you can use. And I think another important thing to look at is the type of tenants you're attracting depending on your rent, right? So let's say similar area, you would have, it's kind of weird to like look at it this way, but it's one way to look at it, right? So usually if you have like a family that's moving in that is gonna stay for a few more years, or it doesn't even have to be a family. Let's just, let's just call it a family to make it easier, but this doesn't have to be the case, right? So let's say they pay $1,500 a month, which is fine, right? But let's say the same property, you could probably, maybe, it depends on it, but just for this example, you could rent it at like 1,800 a month. And a family wouldn't be like, yeah, we can't pay that, right? Because you have like a husband or what, or whatever the case is renting it. If you're renting it to, for 1800 and you got three young professionals that want to move in, between them, that's $600 a month. They can't even get an apartment in a nice area for that much and they'd be in a super nice area, right? So think about it that way too, right? The lower your rent, the higher possibility that your tenant's going to stay longer, right? The higher the rent, the more transitional those people may be. And that's not always the case, right? But just kind of take that into account. It depends on the location a lot, right? If it's a location where a lot of young professionals move into right after college, then you can charge those higher rents, but you'll have more turnover. So just kind of keep that in mind. The other thing, so I said my first point was to look at Zillow and see what stuff's up there for the better thing is to look at what properties have rented for. So what they were rented at. And I don't think you can do that on Zillow. You can do it through like real comp, through like a real estate agent you can pull that information and you can see that, you know, this place was listed at 2000 and it got rented for 2000 after this many days, right? So that's honestly the absolute best way of figuring that out. And honestly, once you throw your property for rent, that will <laughs> pretty much tell you, the market's gonna tell you if your rent's too high or too low, right? <clears throat> so let's say you throw it up for rent at a thousand and you're getting crickets. No one's hitting you up about it. There's always people moving, there's always things happening, so maybe you're just way too high for the area. Maybe you drop it down to like 850 and that place is just like jumping, right? So same example, let's say at that, <clears throat> at that 850, you wouldn't be able to rent it at like 900. But what that tells you is there's super, super high demand. So to me, when that happens, right? So like every time I rent something in Royal Oak, mostly like the single family houses, I get a whole bunch of people that are interested in it. So every single, all the time, I'm like, well, I need more of these houses because there's always a lot of demand, right? And even though they are rented at a high rate, um, my last one was rented for like three or four years by some dudes that were doctors that were doing their residency. So 
even if you are renting at a super high rate, right? That, that example is kind of weird, but uh, that doesn't mean you have a high transition or high turnover rate. But hope this video helped and I hope you have a great day. My button is still not working.